Hello and welcome to the ProPresenter tutorials for New Life Church slide volunteers. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to make a verse slide, probably one of the most popular things you'll be doing as a slide volunteer. Uh, just a reminder, if you'd like to skip ahead to different parts of this video or look at other topics we'll be covering, you can always check the video description box below. But for now, let's get started on how to make a verse slide. All right, so in our first example, we'll make a slide with a verse on it. This is a pretty common thing to do for a sermon on Sunday morning. And to do this, click on the arrow next to the plus button at the bottom of the screen in the editor window. And again, we will navigate from that arrow to the template file we want, and we'll choose the thumbnail with the verse slide image. When I do that, it will make a new slide in the left-hand column. Now we have a slide ready for text to be pasted into it. All right, let's open up a web browser and go to biblegateway.com slash passage. Uh, it's important to use this URL when you're looking up a verse on Bible Gateway because it provides two key options when we're looking up scripture. Uh, you'll notice on my screen, I'm checking these two boxes on the lower part of the window that pops up and they let me hide footnotes and hide cross references. And this is very helpful for eliminating clutter from the text when we copy and paste it into ProPresenter. So again, we have those two options because we're at biblegateway.com slash passage. Now we'll just look up the verse from the notes the speaker sent us. And once we've looked up the verse in the correct translation, we can copy all of the text from our web browser and head to ProPresenter to paste it. Now, before I paste the text in ProPresenter, I'm going to right click on the text box I want and choose the option Paste and Match Style. This is very important because the templates come with the size and font I need for verse slides, and using this option allows me to keep that formatting on the text I copy into the program. This saves us a lot of time when we copy and paste text from an email or from other sources, which can get pretty different from the style we want for our sermons and we'd have to go back and reformat it. But choosing paste and match style is very helpful and will save us a ton of time. Uh, once I've done this, I'll click this top part of the slide and add the verse citation along with the translation that's being used. Let's take a look at this slide. We have the top part at size 50. And then if I click on the bottom text box here, we will see we have at size 40. We'll talk about superscripting the verse numbers in a minute, but let's first discuss what happens if a verse is too long for one slide. So in this example, the verse I was given was Psalm 92, one through eight. And when I copy that from Bible Gateway and paste it into ProPresenter, you can see it spills over the text box. Uh, the first option we have when we have too much text for a single text box is we can try to shrink the text down on the verse slide. Uh, we would do this by clicking on the text box and then heading to the right hand side here where our modifier properties are. And it's important to know that we should never shrink the text smaller than 34 points. So I will try to shrink it down to 34 points and see where that gets us. And that helps us a little bit but it's still we are seeing that verses seven and eight are spilling over and not being fully shown. So what we'll do is we'll create another slide and continue this Psalm 92, one through eight passage from one slide to the next. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom right corner of the editor again, finding the NLC slides template and choosing the verse slides template. Now it has made another slide template right below the one I had with Psalm 92. And I'm gonna to go to that first slide I had where I pasted the text from Bible Gateway. I'm just gonna copy the lower part of that slide that's spilling off the screen. That's where verse seven and eight are. And once I get that, I'm gonna use cut. So that removes it from this text box. I'm gonna to go to the new slide I just created with the verse template. And I'm gonna choose again, paste and match style. So now we have verses seven and eight here. We have verses one through six on that first slide. All right, so now that I have verses one through six on one slide and verses seven and eight on the other, I'm gonna add the heading, and the heading is gonna be the same for both slides with a slight modification on the second one. I'm gonna copy this, go to my next slide, choose paste and match style. And now on the second slide where the passage continues, I'm going to add the abbreviation C-O-N-T apostrophe D. This helps the audience know that this slide is a continuation of the one they just saw, and it's not 
a new verse. It's just a continuation and the rest of the passage. Now we'll go back to my original slide. And the last thing I'm going to add is the word continued in parentheses at the bottom of the slide. I'm going to type that word here. I'm going to put that in size 30 font. So this is a case where we're breaking the rule of size 34 or bigger. We're going to put the continued in size 30 just so the audience knows that this isn't part of the verse. It's just indicating the slide is continuing. You can add an ellipse at the end, the three dots there. And then the last thing we're going to do, we're going to take this word continued and using the tab key, we're going to push it to the right hand side of the text box again. So it's very clearly not part of the verse. It's just indicating the slide is continuing on to the next one. So there we go. Now I have a passage continuing from one slide onto the next. I've used my appropriate modifiers with the continued with the ellipse on the bottom here to indicate that it's going on to a new slide. And then on the second slide, I have the abbreviation for continued in the verse citation at the top to let the audience know the verse is continuing onto the slide. Lastly, we will discuss superscripting the verse numbers so that they will be a little higher up and a little smaller and not be so blatant when we're reading the verses on screen on Sunday morning. The best practice for this is to do this on a Mac computer. If you are on a Windows based computer, that's totally fine. You would just export your slides with normal sized verse numbers and then format them when you get to the Mac on Sunday morning at church. So in this example, this is what my slides would look like if I was waiting to superscript them until Sunday morning. You can see I have all of my verse numbers here. They are just regularly sized. And then when I import them on Sunday morning, I will superscript them. Now, this is a best practice suggestion. We've had many slide volunteers use ProPresenter on the PC and try to superscript. And whenever they do use a PC for superscripting and then they go to import the slides on Sunday morning, they inevitably have to take some time to fix the formatting of the slides. For whatever reason, the Mac version of ProPresenter at this point just does a much cleaner job superscripting than the PC version does. So that's why our suggestion here is just to leave the verse numbers unsuperscripted and do them before the service once you are on the computer you're presenting from. And as I'm about to show you, superscripting them on Sunday mornings is a very quick process. You should be able to do it in under three minutes for a whole presentation, give or take how many verse slides there are. But it doesn't take that long and just leave your slides looking much cleaner. So that's why our best practice here is just to leave the verse numbers unsuperscripted and then to superscript them on Sunday morning when you are on a Mac. Okay, so now let's say I have imported my slides. I am uh, on a Mac or on the computer at church and ready to superscript them. And this is why superscripting is so much easier on a Mac than a PC. We can actually select all of the numbers at once and superscript them all at the same time. Uh, to do this, I'm gonna hold down the command key, which is right next to the space bar on the left hand side and I'm going to use my mouse to highlight each verse number on the slide. So you can see that with holding down the command key and then using my mouse, if I double click on each number, I can select all of them at the same time on one slide. Once all the numbers have been selected, I will go to the menu bar at the top of the screen and choose format, then go down to font, then baseline, then superscript, and now you can see the numbers are superscripted higher than the original font. However, they still need to be downsized in order for all of the line spacing on this slide to be fluid. So to do that, I'm just going to leave the numbers still selected. I'm not going to click anywhere else. I'm just going to head to the text properties on the right hand side of the screen and change the font size to 22. And you can see when I do that, they fit nice and neatly. They are superscripted above the baseline of the text, but they're not interfering with the line spacing. So I would repeat this process with the remaining verse slides. And again, if I was on a Windows computer, I would just have my verse numbers ready to go on Sunday morning, but they would be normal sized. Then I would superscript them on a Mac. If you are on a Mac creating your slides during the week, you can feel free to superscript them then. They won't interfere when you export them. Again, this is probably the trickiest part of creating verse slides, but now you know you can feel free to practice this method as much as you need to, and you should be able to get it down with doing all of your verse slides in under three minutes, especially if you use the command shortcut to be able to select multiple numbers at a time.
All right, well, this has been the video tutorial for how to create verse slides in ProPresenter for New Life Church slide volunteers. Thanks so much for watching. You can feel free to take a look at some of our other videos. The links to those tutorials are in the video description box below. As always, thanks so much for giving your time and talents to serve New Life Church.